Hey, it's Angelo's with the Angelo's Edge. I got a knife that I kind of bought as an impulse buy yesterday. And it's kind of weird, but it's it's a basically a, a utility knife, a folding knife, but it was an ace. We stopped in uh, uh, Milan, I think it was, or Norwalk, I can't remember. Stopped at an old ace store. Actually, it was pretty big, bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I looked at the knives, and I think these, oh, ace used to have case knives and other versions. I didn't see anything like that in there, but I was looking at their, they have all the utility knives and stuff you would use for home repair. And they had this knife here, which is a folding knife, but it has this cutout, like a hole you put your finger in. And I was like, that's pretty cool. And it's a button lock. So I thought that was neat too. So I ended up buying it. It was $14. But my thoughts were that, It'd be good to have this knife with you when you're carrying one of these big, like this uh, Sheepdog XL. If you had that with you, you don't want to take that out of your pocket. It's kind of weird. Like people be like intimidated because the size of that. Because like this, what is this knife? This uh, curse or this uh, is. Let's just say this starts here. This, this knife is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine inches long total. And you might not want to pull that out at a restaurant or something. People might, you know, might look intimidating. So I think you'd like to have a, like a utility knife just like that uh, to have with me. Like here's another knife that this is a kind of a big knife you might not want to have pulled out like a family gathering people they're not used to like seeing big knives and stuff like that so i thought this would be a cool knife to have with you and it has a pocket clip uh but what initially i thought it reminded me of this i can't remember the name of this is a gerber but it's uh has the same hole and i found this vid very fidgety like when you close it you can just sit there and you can flick it around you know it's like do kind of like just you mess around it's fidgety and it has this this has the same thing but it's a little it's a lot thicker like you see the thickness this is the gerber it's a lot thicker than that but i thought it'd be neat to have this uh for like i don't know backup knife but just one that looks more, less aggressive if you take out and cut like something open but uh but it, it's it's a heavy knife but it's thick but I, I, I got it because I had the button lock. And then I, after I got it out, it has like it has two locks. It's like when you open it up, you hold the button down. And the first lock you come to is like almost like a, like you almost have a pistol grip. So you can drag cut, I guess. So I thought that was neat. As I didn't expect that. And then when you pull it down again, it goes the rest of the way. And it's like locked into place. It almost got a more ergonomic cut too kind of like reminds me of this other utility knife that i use like at home it has that same i don't know what it is the angle so i thought that was neat uh let me i see how heavy this i mean it's quite heavy let's see let me break out the scale and right here uh, there it is so but so it's a 5.5 five and a half ounce blade like knife uh but so it's it's just as heavy as like this almost the same this uh uh weight as this uh cvv uh knife that i have the large cvv knife i have but but i just thought it was kind of cool i like the idea you can like sit here and twirl it you know, kind of twirl it and stuff, and you could be in, you could just have it, and you can kind of play around with it, but it has, like, uh, a pocket clip, it's tipped up, and has this big ring, but, heck, the ring, the thickness is kind of, it's almost a, like, a, over, over a half an inch of the thickness, so, but it's your standard, uh, utility blade you that's the quick thing you slide it out with the button and you can slide it back in i think there's two positions i think i don't know 
you could, but I think it's better to go all the way in. It locks in. But I thought it was uh, but it was unique, but it's an Ace Ace brand. And you can see it right on the... It's labeled there with their label. But, and, and it says it's like got 50% more blade exposure for deeper cutting, quick blade change. Uses mo most standard utility blades, and it has a metal belt clip. But... But of course, on the front, it talks about the the comfort uh, grip for the finger loop, which is, I think, you know, more of a fidgety thing. And a two position cutting provides additional leverage, which I thought that was kind of neat. I just I thought this was kind of unique, and I think it'll be going with me just carrying around, especially when I carry like a large knife. I'll definitely like carry like this one right here with me, so. But that's the Ace Hardware. Well, I, I don't know if they're all... I think they're all Ace. I don't know if they... I, don't know, I think they called Ace Hardware, but I thought this was kind of cool. They say the Ace Promise. It's like, if you return it, if this has... And I'll just read it to you. If this Ace product, when used for any intentional person, fails to give you a complete satisfaction, return the item to Ace Hardware store with, where purchased for free replacement or similar type. So... There's the promise, I guess. So, but uh, you could probably get cheaper. I didn't even think I was really bad. Fifteen dollars. I think it was thirteen ninety five, and it came like fifteen dollars even for a utility blade. That's kind of cool. I mean, a lot of the new knife uh, manufacturer, not new knife, newer knives. They're coming out. They're like kind of going to the utility blades just to have have with you know something with you like smaller ones but but i got this because it has this hole you could play with it without getting cut <laughs> all right so like share and subscribe to angel's edge uh see you guys later bye